In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearly beloved, Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the last chapter of Mark, our Lord promises, Whoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. And the apostle Peter writes, Baptism now saves you. The Word of God also teaches that we're all conceived and born sinful and are under the power of the devil until Christ claims us as his own. We would be lost forever unless delivered from sin and death and everlasting condemnation. But the Father of all mercy and grace has sent his Son, Jesus Christ, who atoned for the sin of the whole world, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. How is this child to be named? Judah Riley Self. Judah Riley Self. Receive the sign of the cross upon your forehead and upon your heart to mark you as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, according to your strict judgment, you condemned the unbelieving world through the flood. Yet according to your great mercy, you preserved believing Noah and his family, eight souls in all. You drowned a hard-hearted Pharaoh and all his host in the Red Sea. Yet let your people Israel through the water on dry ground, foreshadowing this washing of your holy baptism. Through the baptism in the Jordan of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you sanctified and instituted all waters to be a blessed flood and the lavish washing away of sin. We pray that you will behold Judah Riley according to your boundless mercy and bless him with true faith by the Holy Spirit, that through this saving flood, all sin in him, which has been inherited from Adam and which he himself committed sins, would be drowned and die. Grant that he be kept safe and secure in the holy ark of the Christian church, being separated from the multitude of unbelievers and serving your name at all times with a fervent spirit and a joyful hope, so that with all believers in your promise, he would be declared worthy of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now address Kyle and Tirsa. From ancient times, the church has observed the custom of appointing sponsors for baptismal candidates and catechumens. In the Evangelical Lutheran Church, sponsors are to confess the faith expressed in the Apostles' Creed and taught in the small catechism. They are, whenever possible, to witness the baptism of those they sponsor. They are to pray for them, support them in their ongoing instruction and nurture in the Christian faith and encourage them toward the faithful reception of the Lord's Supper. They are at all times to be examples to them of the holy life of faith in Christ and love for the neighbor. Is it your intention to serve Judah Riley as sponsors in the Christian faith? If so, then you say yes with the help of God. Yes, with the help of God. God enable you both to willing to do this faithful and loving work and with his grace fulfill what we are are unable to do. Hear the gospel according to St. Mark. They brought young children to Jesus that he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased and said to them, let the little children come to me and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. 
And he took them up in his arms, put his hands on them, and he blessed them. This is the word of God. We now pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord preserve you coming in and you're going out from this time forth and forevermore. Now, Danny and Luke, I will ask you to speak on behalf of Judah. Judah, do you renounce the devil? Yes, I renounce. Do you renounce all his works? Yes, I renounce them. Do you renounce all his ways? Yes, I renounce them. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried? He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. Yes, I believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? Yes, I believe. The Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you this birth of water and the Spirit, and has forgiven you all of your sins, strengthen you into his grace, the life everlasting. Amen. The baptismal candle is lit off the Christ candle, and the Christ candle is lit twice in a person's ah! life. Baby. The Christ candle is lit at your baptism and at your funeral to represent the fact that your baptism and your funeral go together, that you have now died to your flesh and have been risen in Christ Jesus. Judah, you, just as all who are baptized, bear the light of Christ in this world. Amen. Let us pray. Uh, in holy baptism, God the Father has made you a member of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and as an heir with us in the treasures of heaven and in the holy Christian and apostolic church. We receive you in baptism, named as your, as your brother in Christ, that together we might uh, hear his word, receive his gifts, and proclaim his pra praises to him who has called us out of darkness and into this marvelous light. Amen. We welcome you in the name of our Lord. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, the Father, we thank you for the pray and praise you that you graciously preserve and enlar enlarge your family and have gathered Judah the new birth of holy baptism and made him a member of your son our Lord Jesus Christ and an heir of your heavenly kingdom we humbly implore you that as he has now become your child you would keep him and in his baptismal grace that according to your good pleasure he may faithfully grow and lead a godly life the praise and honor of your name and family. With all the saints, obtain the promise inheritance in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The peace be with you. Amen. Get them back to who he really wants.